everyone, welcome back to Song Reaction Analysis with your girl JVB. How are you doing today? First and foremost, as almost, thank you so much for being here on my channel, checking out my reactions as well as my own music. In the description below, you're going to find all the links. I wanted to do a few more Halloween reactions and of course one highly recommended one, suggested one was Jeff Casalucci doing Jack's Lament. Oh my goodness, I love this guy so much. His voice is mesmerizing. Uh, it just, yeah, <laughs> just so amazing. So with no further ado, we're gonna get straight into it. There are few who deny at what I do I am the best For my talents are renowned far and wide When it comes to surprises in the moonlit night I excel without ever even trying With the slightest little effort of my ghost-like charms I have seen grown men give out a shriek with a wave of my hand and a well-placed moan, I have swept the very bravest off their feet. Yet, year after year, it's the same routine, and I grow so weary of the sound of screams. And I, Jack, the pumpkin king, have grown so tired of the same old thing. Let me just say, oh, I got Jack right here. <laughs> I love Jack and I, I haven't found the right home for him quite yet, but he's going to be here for now, like right there. <laughs> um, his voice, guys, I keep talking about it and I keep drooling about it because that low bass sound is just so interesting to me so intriguing to me and i really love the way he plays with it he has so much fun coloring up his low sound you know what i mean and making so many different sounds he is so expressive and he is so good at articulating and also his whole theatrics it's just mesmerizing to me and this is just the right perfect time that, that's Let's start from the beginning one more time. My God, this is so good. <laughs> so beautiful. There are few who deny at what I do I am the best For my talents are renowned far and wide Like right there, why? It's so low. Na, 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 It's just the way he just transitions back and forth. It's so masterfully uh, orchestrated. It's so good. I am the best, for my talents are renowned far and wide. When it comes to surprises in the moonlit night, I excel without ever even trying. With the slightest little effort of my ghost-like charms, I have seen grown men give out a shriek. With a wave of my hand and a well-placed moan, I have swept the very bravest off their feet. Yet, year after year, it's the same routine, and I grow so weary of the sound of screams. And I, Jack, the pumpkin king, have grown so tired of the same old thing. Oh, so. Something out there far from my home A longing that I've never known I'm the master of fright I 
and a demon of light and I'll scare you right out of your pants. To die in Kentucky, <laughs> I'm Mr. Unlucky and I'm known throughout England and France. Bonjour. And since I am dead, I can take off my head to recite Shakespeare quotations. No animal nor man can scream like I can with the fury of my recitations. Uh, oh my god. So his sound, when he started singing a little bit higher into it in, in his middle voice, I mean, it was not a very open sound, right? But it was so appropriate for what he was doing. And then again, I love his playfulness in his voice, his expression, his theatrics. He is so good at really like telling the story with his vocals and also his, his whole body language. You know, he's so good with this theatrics. Oh my God, this is so... And the production, I love when the layering of her, his voice... It reminded me a little of Queen, um, but, but just like this masterfully done layering and harmonizing. So good. And to think that it's all him, it's just crazy how good it is. And there's so much to look at. I really love the whole stage setup, backdrop, everything he does is so well thought out. It's so well produced that it you just don't want to like look away ever. And I I, I can't even like see everything I want to see. It's just so, mm. <laughs> it's so good. Um, such a good actor. I'm the master of fright and a demon of light and I'll scare you right out of your pants. <sighs> to die in Kentucky, I'm Mr. Unlucky and I'm known throughout England and France. Bonjour. And since I am dead, I can take off my head to recite Shakespearean <laughs> quotations. No animal, no right man can scream like I can with the fury of so my good. recitations. But who here would ever understand that the pumpkin king with a skeleton grin would tire of his crown? If they only understood, he'd give it all up if he only could. This is so good. Oh, there's an empty place in my bones that calls out for something unknown. The fame and praise come here after right here his sound is more open than before um i think you know what i'm referring to when he first started getting a little bit higher now it's like way more open than before right and it's all on purpose because it's just building so beautiful oh, and that one low note right here it's just like wow <laughs> oh there's an crown if they only understood he'd give it all up if he only in my bones that calls out for something unknown. The fame and praise come year after year does nothing for these empty tears. <laughs> Oh my God. I really love that he always does that. Hey y'all, Jeff here and happy Halloween. This video was made with the support of spooky folks just like you and all the wonderful souls over at Patreon. If you'd like early access to every single video I release, behind the scenes footage, or wanna hop on a live stream with me, head on over to Patreon oh, wow. and check it out. I'll see you there. We need to support Extra special him. thanks goes out to Halder Draco, Helen Anderson, Diane Holland, Sarah O, 
Lori Templeman, Laura Mueller, Amazing. Patricia Schumann, Debbie Goodling, Jordy S., Barb Wells, A.M. Person, Angie Woolard, oh, Carl Thomas, and see? Melanie Thomas, I Elsa love M. Langenstahl, and Dorothy Brune, and Debs Badger. Thanks again for watching, and have a safe Halloween. I'll see you in the next Thank one. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> oh my God, this is so amazing. And that is exactly what I was talking about. You can tell that the production is absolutely amazing, right? There's, it's so well thought out, and it makes sense now when he showed the behind the scenes, how much work goes into that. He's not just like standing there singing. It has nothing wrong with it. Everything has its place. But I love his commitment to edge every song that I've heard so far. I love his commitment to that, not just vocally, but the, the whole performance, right? This is all this big production. It's a big storytelling that he he provides and, and he really puts on a show, like a real performance. And to me, I'm a big sucker for theatrics. I really appreciate when he just goes all out because that just shows like he's not messing around, you know? <laughs> It's just his voice is amazing and I really love the colorations he uses when he uses his voice and you can tell that he is like, obviously we all know this by now what a range he has what an octave range he has and how well obviously you know he's done theater and he's been with the voice play so that obviously we know all that but still there's a difference between someone just singing and someone actually performing and really living this song and living the story and for me he pulls you in he like there's no compromising anything he pulls you into the story he becomes that character un unapologetically you know like and full on and that to me is just like a very rare thing with with artists you know that's very rare and of course his his bass sound is just fantastic. Thank you so much for watching with me. This this was so much fun and so entertaining. And I kind of knew already that's how it's going to be. With that said, I'm going to let you go. You have an amazing, happy Halloween. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of this performance. And just because Halloween is going to be over soon doesn't mean we have to stop listening to Jeff. So like, let me know what other songs you highly recommend from him that is a definitely must see, must react to. And with that said, I'm going to let you go and I'm going to leave you something uplifting and positive. As always, make every day a great day. And I have to share something really quick with you. I've been looking over all my things that I wanted to do this year. And it October is always a month for me where I feel a little like... Um, anxious and and just overwhelmed where I feel like oh my god there's so many things that I wanted to do and I haven't been able to do yet and I stopped myself from doing certain things so I think the struggle for many people that are going through what I'm going through is that we feel like we just can never get it done because it's just so overwhelming it's so much and everything is high priority right and my for me it's like this is important this is also really important so I don't I, I I don't start because I feel I can never get it done when in reality we can get everything done but we have to start and that's sometimes the hardest thing to do because when you start you build momentum Momentum. You built excitement and you're going to get into the zone. And when you're in that zone, things come easy. They come so naturally and organic. You don't have to force anything. So allow yourself to get into that zone. Make some time to create that momentum and you will see that all the things that you wanted to get done, you're going to get done. But you have to start and you have to spend some quality time on that. So not just like 10 minutes, like give yourself an hour a day maybe on a project, right? Whatever it takes. But I've been noticing this for myself and that's what I've been doing I started doing it and of course I'm living in an RV now and this is my little setup here um, it's going to change I'm going to give you a behind the scene tour um, on my Patreon very soon it's been so challenging we had so many things to fix and we're still in the middle of fixing things I was going to do more reactions but we had to fix a water leak and all that kind of stuff things happen but you know what life goes on and it's okay because it gets done right it just got done we handled it you you get like thrown an obstacle in your way and you just handle it you just deal with it you just let get it done anyway 
with that said, I'm going to hope that you, whatever you're going through, this is helping a little bit and make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button so you never miss a post of mine. Hit the notification bell and leave a like. It's so important to leave a like and a comment. I appreciate that so very much because engagement is very important. And I love hearing from you and I want to know what should be next. So with that said, I want to let you go. Have an amazing rest of your day. Take care.